This is gonna have to be really quick. Here's what's going on right now. I am in Baltimore. It is freezing cold outside. Actually, when I went out to go get some lunch, I recorded this right here with the steam coming out of the grates. We are taking a bunch of military out to Germany. Military troops or military personnel. I don't really get that information. Just like when I show up at the plane, I don't know if I'm flying uh, flowers or I'm flying missiles because both had been on my plane. And I didn't know it until I got there. It's all happening in like a 48 hour period. We are taking one of the old Virgin 747s. I think they used to call it like Pretty Lady or something like that, but I'm literally running behind. I gotta get the rest of my paperwork done, finish packing and get out of here, so. All right, we just got here to the airport. We got international departures. We got Atlanta and New York. Interesting. They dropped off the pilots at a separate entrance so they could go through the crew members, basically a separate security line. I always go check on the flight attendants just to make sure they all get through because sometimes they have problems with their bags or things like that. You can see way down there. That's all the flight attendants are starting to come in. I'm gonna hang out here, make sure everybody gets through security, nobody gets left behind. That's just the way I did things when I was this flying passengers before and so I still do it. Let's make sure the crew gets okay. Down there is actually where the special line is for the crew to go through. But with this many people, there's always for sure somebody's gonna get caught and randomly checked, which means they have to go through the check that everybody goes through. Where we're going is down over there. All right, so race through security now. We're headed out to the plane. Looks like the captain's gonna end up doing this flight. I'm the last on the plane, so I'll probably end up doing the walk around. On the way back, I'm not really sure who's doing what. I'm the next to expire. I may end up doing this flight back into Baltimore, which is always bumpy. So, yay for me. Well, I guess this answers the question about who we're gonna be flying today. Uh, since I'm probably going to be in the third seat, I always go wander around, check on snacks. Looks like we got all the food out of here on the plane. Now it's time to go find snacks. This is these uh, virgin red seats. I don't know if these are the originals. You can see there's a lot of red still from before. Do you care if I steal any of these snacks? They're not really as exciting as I was hoping for. They're all right. Sometimes they have other snacks and other galleys. Pretzels, so that's not what I want. More granola bars. We're gonna go see upstairs in our galley. I don't know either of these two flight attendants that are working with us up here. Can I steal some of these chips? Of course you can. Oh, I'm gonna try these. I've never had these before. What I found, peanut butter and jelly. All right, this is not going as planned. As you can see, we haven't loaded up anybody. The fuelers are taking their time to get all the fueling done and we can't put the people on the plane until the fuel's on and they ran out of trucks and then one thing after another after another. We're roughly like an hour late right now. Not ideal because it's not a really long layover once we get there. Looks like they got the second truck just pulled up. All right, time to go to work. We're taxiing a bit slower the runway because there's some fog moving in right now and the planes are barely getting in for landing. Talk to you in the air. Okay, I'm in the crew rest area right now. I don't have a lot of time, but I have some very upsetting news that I just found out. Several of the flight attendants on this flight have not seen Top Gun, the original, not the new one, Maverick. That seems like a required thing for all crew members. If I was a flight attendant trainer, day one after all the HR paperwork, that'd be like the first thing that I'd have everybody do. We just close the windows, we watch Top Gun. Anyway, I'm on first rest. Um, I have to get some sleep because we're delayed. As delayed is so much that we're not getting free breakfast. So you, you already know I'm in a grumpy mood. I'm gonna get some rest. We'll probably just be starting out over the ocean when I get back up there, so we'll see. I don't think I slept much, if any at all, sadly. But I get to show you the sunrise from the flight deck of a 747 in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Good morning, Wales. It looks like you're having a sunny day. Well, we made it. Everything's shut down. 
Seven hours, 22 minutes. Everyone's getting off the plane now. I haven't slept in about 22 hours or so. As soon as we shut down the engines, my brain capacity is like, okay, I think it goes away. It's like 30 degrees, a little bit too cold for me to want to be out here for very long, but got the walk around done. We're finally out, we're on the way. I'm the last one. I'm sure the other pilots are super excited. Luckily, it's a quick drive to the hotel. So because we're near a military base, there's not a lot of options for hotels, which kind of explains why my hotel looks like I'm living on the inside of a tree. Anyway, I think it's been about 24 hours that I've been awake. I'm ready to go to sleep for sure. And uh, tomorrow we head back to one more, one more time. See, I'm, I'm doing great. Anyways, I'm gonna grab a nap, go to sleep, wake up, do it again tomorrow, and right back to the good old US bed with some more troops. I love bringing them home, to be honest with you. That's the best part. I did not sleep as much as I was hoping for. Anyway, uh, we're flying with the sun the whole way, which is great. Um, and I have to get up, get ready. Breakfast here is not exciting. It's free, but not exciting. It's, it's like one omelet. You get one omelet. Actually, I, I, I should probably change first. The thing with these charter flights that is really annoying is a lot of times we don't leave on time. And that is true in the charter world. Uh, when I flew corporate, it was like that because the people who chartered the aircraft, they get to go when they want to go. If they're 30, 45 minutes late, then they're 30, 45 minutes late and you just have to sit there and wait. So that's what happened on the way out here. And I'm hoping it's not what happens on the way back because after this flight, I'm done for a couple of days. All right, so we got a bunch of traffic going on right now. Half our flight attendants are here. The other half is at another town, which is a way cooler town, which for some reason they never put me in. I've requested to stay in the other town, but for some reason, I guess they don't like me enough to let me go to that town. Rumor is that's like the cool party town on the weekend. Okay, so we're on the ground now. We're still in Germany. The other FO, I asked him if he wanted to fly. So he said he did. But he's doing the only leg. Usually what happens, if you're not the flying pilot, you end up on first rest. Which actually works out okay. Well, you remember what I said about when you're doing charters that sometimes you just end up sitting around for a while? Well, we're supposed to be in the air right now. It's part of the game. A lot of times you just go and you'd sit there for hours. I'm trying to wind myself down so uh, I'm awake enough to focus on the takeoff, but then try to get tired enough to go to sleep. Okay, it's time to board. Today, it is going to be very windy and a bit of a crosswind. I always try to be good about putting sunscreen on, especially when I'm flying. Girls are great about it, but boys, please use your sunscreen so you don't look weathered and old at 50. The winds, as windy as they were, the guy who did the landing was actually on the, the last rest and he crushed it. Great landing, amazing job. That's it, I'm gonna go grab some food real quick, get to sleep and hopefully get back on uh, US schedule cause I'm all flip flopped all over the place from the jet lag. So I really appreciate you guys coming along with me on this trip. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one over here. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.